Last week here on Thursday Night Thunder, it was Jason Wook from Johnson Motorsports knocking off his own teammate here in the finals, taking home his second Thursday Night Thunder victory. Can Johnson Motorsports stay on top? We find out next. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 89 of Thursday Night Thunder, and we have got the best of the best in the lineup for you guys right here tonight, and they're laying it all down in the dirt right here on the track. Johnson Motorsports took home the win last week. Jason Wilk and Prowler is the man on top, carrying the checkered flag, but 15 other MTA superstars are dialed in and ready to go and ready to take that checkered flag right there off the back of the Prowler machine who looked so strong last week. As we take a look at round one matchups, Bulldozer set to take on Titan. Then we're going to see Saigon Shaker take on USA 1. Then Straight Jacket takes on the Nightmare Chevrolet. And then the U.S. Air Force Afterburner takes on the Crash Test Dummy to kick off the first half of round one action. And coming up first here in round one, John Kadiux and Bulldozer from No Fear Racing hasn't done a whole lot this season. Looking to turn things around, he takes on Zach Jurge and the Titan Chevrolet, who's getting himself a good rhythm going. He's trying to get it dialed in and get that truck to the finish line in the final round and come out on top. Who's it going to be to kick off Thursday Night Thunder? Episode 89 to take on the win. As we go green, Titan and Bulldozer down the straight. Bulldozer's got a lead on him, but Titan coming back. Bulldozer getting a little out of shape, and Zach George and Titan pick up the win here in round one. Bulldozer is on the trailer here tonight, and up next we've got Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet, again out of Outlaw Motorsports, one-time Thunder Champion, now set to take on Greg Durbin, a three-time Thunder Champion, back again in the Saigon Shaker, looking to turn things around this season, but USA 1 is known to lay it all on the line and make a bad pass run right here on the MTA track. Who's going to take it into round two? Saigon Shaker, USA 1. It's go time down the straight stretch now. USA 1's got a lead on him, and Jalen Buford turns it over. Going across the finish line, a hard wreck there from USA 1. Greg Durbin trying to make up ground down the straight stretch. Got bobbled up there coming across that last set of cars. Watch the near lane here. Jalen Buford, USA 1, flying high up and over no man's land. Gets kicked out the side there a little bit. Rocked up and rolled over over that last set of cars. Buford upside down. Nonetheless, USA 1 picking up the win. And there you see Saigon Shaker who came up just a little bit short this week. And there is the USA 1 Chevrolet. They're going to get him rolled back over and down to the pits. And hopefully the truck wasn't hurt too bad. Now up next in round one, Bradley Graham bringing the brand new straight jacket to the line. Now set to take on rookie sensation Kevin Stanford in the Nightmare Chevrolet. And I got to tell you guys, the Nightmare has been running strong. He has been hanging even with the top dogs here on MTA. He's looking to knock off one of the longtime veterans, Bradley Graham, former five-time Thunder champion, in his brand-new truck, Straight Jacket in the far lane. Here's the green light now, Straight Jacket, a nightmare down the straight stretch. They're even up and over the cars here. Kevin Stanford, the nightmare Chevrolet, the rookie, knocks off the veteran here early in round one. Straight Jackets on the trailer. A bad bounce costed him the win. Nightmare does move on, however, and up next, Jeffrey Skipper, the Iceman, six-time Thunder Champion, now set to take on three-time Thunder Champion Kieran Adams in Crash Test Dummy, representing again K&J Motorsports staged over in the near lane. There you see the Iceman in the far lane. Who's it going to be? Skipper has been making a big name for himself out here on the MTA circuit, representing Johnson Motorsports. Kieran representing K&J. Who's it going to be? There's the green light now. Kieran's got a lead on him up and over the cars. Kieran bobbles up, and Jeffrey Skipper... U.S. Air Force Afterburner gets the win. The bus stack stops Kieran Adams right there in his tracks. Coming up just short, Afterburner does move on. And up next, Austin Spence and that wicked-looking Monster Patrol. Stage now, ready to go. Taking on longtime Thunder veteran Rich Wagner in the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Representing No Fear Racing again. Rich Wagner, a 10-time 
Thursday Night Thunder champion, knows how to get it done. Austin Spence has been out here before, now back behind the wheel of Monster Patrol for the third week of the February season. Who's it going to be? Battle of the Bowtie down the straight stretch now. Monster Patrol pulling a lead on him. Wagner's coming back on him. And Rich Wagner, wild hair, just edges out the Monster Patrol from here in the booth is what it looked like. We're going to go down and take a look at the MTA photo finish to confirm a winner. And it's going to be Rich Wagner by a tire length getting the win over Monster Patrol. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here in round one, it's your boy Shaggy, Matt Cheever, and Gravedigger the legend back behind the wheel yet again, setting out to take on Chantel Bailey, two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, representing Johnson Motorsports, and last week's finalist losing out to her own teammate, Prowler. Now, Matt Cheever rocking and rolling with his one-year anniversary on the MTA circuit. Can he knock off Mountaineer? There's the green light now down the straight stretch. They're even up and over no man's land here. And what a race. But Cheever knocks off Chantel Bailey in the Mountaineer. The legend moves on into round two action. Matt Cheever looks strong over there in the left lane. Now next up in round one, we have got Tyler Fugate, another rookie out here. The high roller forward hasn't done a whole lot. Looking to turn it around right here tonight. He's set to take on the Cowboy from Hell, Timothy Cantwell in the Bounty Hunter, representing Outlaw Motorsports. He knows how to put that bad fast Ford Expedition from Toganoxie, Kansas in the winner's circle. Who's it going to be? High Roller in the far lane, Bounty Hunter in the near lane, Boat Truck Stage. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. Bounty Hunter's got a lead on him, flying high over no man's land. And Timothy Cantwell in Bounty Hunter with some sick air. Got a little out of shape, got it corrected, took home the win. High Roller is on the trailer for yet another week. Next up here in round one action, the crazy cat Jason Wilkin Prowler, two-time Thunder champion and your current Thunder champion, looking to get the job done. Ethan Wagner bringing Cyclops to the line. He is staged now in the near lane, ready to go. We saw him out here a couple of months ago. Looks strong. He's still getting his feet wet out here on the MTA circuit. He's looking to knock off the current Thunder champion right here in round one action. Who's it going to be as the light goes green now down the straight stretch? They're even flying high over no man's land. And Ethan Wagner, the rookie, getting the job done. Trying to shut the truck down before he gets into the lineup at the end of the track. Jason Wilkin Prowler with a bad bounce. Unbelievable racing right there. And ladies and gentlemen, we are heading down now to the pits. We just saw the champion get knocked off from Johnson Motorsports. He's down there now with the other guys in the crew. They're thrashing on the trucks, making sure they're ready to go, and 100% for the live wire event coming up at the end of February. And folks, I got to tell you, the Johnson Motorsports race team, they're going to be some fierce competitors at that live wire event. They are getting all their stuff primed and ready to go to have top-notch equipment for one of the biggest races of the year. Back here now on Thursday Night Thunder, looking at round two action. Titan will take on USA 1, then Nightmare takes on the Afterburner. Then we're going to see Wild Hair take on Grave Digger the Legend. And to close out round two, we're going to see Bounty Hunter take on the Cyclops Chevrolet, who knocked off the current champion here in round one. Now up first, Jalen Buford bringing back the USA 1 Chevrolet out of Outlaw Motorsports. Now set to take on another Chevrolet, that is Zach Jurge and Titan. Both trucks look strong in round one. USA won. The team thrashed on the truck during the intermission. Got it fixed. They are back here at the line. Outlaw Motorsports is looking for another big win on Thursday Night Thunder. Who's it going to be now? Two Chevrolets about to go green now down the straight stretch. Looks like Jalen Buford and USA One's got a lead, but Titan coming back. And a slow crawl to the finish. you got to wonder if something happened to both trucks. Nonetheless, Titan picks up the win here in round two. Now next up to the line, the Iceman in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner, Jeffrey Skipper, six-time Thunder champion. He may have his hands full, though, because Kevin Stanford in the Nightmare Chevrolet has been looking dialed in all season long. Could tonight be the night that the rookie takes home his very first Thursday Night Thunder championship in the Nightmare Chevrolet there, staged in the near lane. He's got his hands full, though. The Iceman knows how to get the job done down the straight stretch. They're even up and over no man's land here in Nightmare. Upsets the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper. Nightmare will move on into round two. And another Johnson Motorsports contender is on the trailer. And next up, this one ought to be a barn burner. Rich Wagner, 10-time champion. Now set to take on a man celebrating his one-year anniversary on Thunder. Matt Cheever and Gravedigger the Legend. He has never won this Thursday Night Thunder event. He took out 
the West Virginia Mountaineer earlier tonight in round one action. He's looking to knock off longtime veteran Rich Wagner and Wild Hair here in round two. Boat truck stays at the line. There's the green light now down the straight stretch. They're even up and over the cars here. Wagner turns it over and Cheever gets the win. Gravedigger, the legend, puts himself in the semifinals. A tough break for the Wild Hair Chevrolet. It looks like No Fear Racing are going to have their hands full preparing the truck for next week. Here you see the replay down the stretch, up and over No Man's Land. Wagner way out of shape in the far lane, rocked up and rolled over on him. He had an incredible save last week. This week the track bit him and he turned it over here in front of all the MTA fans. There you see the track crew and officials down there getting ready to turn over the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Again, no fear racing. They've got to get that truck back together to get the points for the overall season championship coming to a close next week. Wagner's on the trailer here for tonight. And next up here in round two, Timothy Cantwell from Outlaw Motorsports bringing Bounty Hunter back to the line. Now set to take on the man who knocked off the current champion earlier tonight, Ethan Wagner in Cyclops. Now, he knocked off one of the top drivers from one of the top teams here on the MTA circuit, and he finds himself against another top team here on Thunder. That's the Outlaw Motorsports race team. Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter in the near lane. There's the green light now. Wagner got him off the line down the stretch, up and over the cars. Wagner with a wheelie, turns it over. What a race. Cantwell was hanging right there with him, trying to put down the big Ford horsepower. Couldn't come up with it. Going back to the MTA replay, off the line immediately, Wagner had him. Watch Cantwell here flying high, trying to chase him down. Look at the wheel stand by Wagner in the far lane. Clips that last car stack. There you see the winner by about a tire length. Wagner turns it over and puts Bounty Hunter on the trailer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that the end of February, February 26th to be exact, live wire right here on the MTA YouTube channel, 32 trucks. You don't want to miss the racing competition as we kick off semifinal action. Titan takes on Nightmare. Then we're going to see Crave Digger the Legend take on Cyclops, who just turned it over there in round two. But up first, Zach George and the Titan Chevrolet looking really strong here tonight. Now set to take on Kevin Stanford, the rookie out here. His first time ever on the NTA circuit for a whole Thunder season. He has got Nightmare staged at the line in the near lane. Dialed in and ready to go. The crew has that motor running at 100%. Who's it going to be? Battle of the bow tie to kick off semis. There's the green light. Now they're even down the stretch. Up and over no man's land in the car stack. And Nightmare bottled up on the van stack at the end of the track. Barely losing out to Titan over there in the far lane. As we go back and take a look at the MTA photo finish, that bad bounce was all it was that costed Nightmare the win. Titan is in the finals here tonight. But who's he going to face? Because up next, your boy Shaggy Matt Cheever, engraved in the legend, finds himself in the semis. But Ethan Wagner in Cyclops has been bad fast all night long, knocking off some heavy hitters. He rolled the truck over last round. He only tore up the body just a little bit. The truck is still at 100%, so I'm told by the crew. But Matt Cheever, his one-year anniversary, you can feel it in the air. He wants it here tonight. Here's the green light now. Boat truck's hard off the line. They're even down the stretch. Up and over no man's land, and Cyclops turns it over again. And I'm not even sure who got the win here. They were just about even going across the line. Cyclops may have been upside down as you see it here in the booth. We're going back down to the MTA replay. Even down the straight stretch, they're door handle to door handle. Up and over, no man's land. Look at the air by Matt Cheever. And a bad bounce by Cyclops, giving the win to Gravedigger the Legend. It wasn't by much. An incredible performance. And ladies and gentlemen, Matt Cheever's in the finals. So let's take a look at the flashback moment for Gravedigger the Legend. It was one year ago on Thursday Night Thunder episode 35, The Show in the Snow. Matt Cheever made his debut 2021 right here on the Thunder Circuit. As you see in the snow, it wasn't too friendly to him. He got Gravedigger the Legend back to the pits right after round one action. A tough break for him, but tonight he finds himself in the finals against Zach Jurge in the Titan Chevrolet, who has been strong and dominant all season long. Now he's in the finals, but Matt Cheever, his one year anniversary. Can he come up with the win or is it gonna be a choke fest for Gravedigger the Legend? The tension is high. The Ford in the near lane. The Chevrolet in the far lane. Titan takes on Gravedigger the Legend. Zach Jurge wants this just as bad to get his first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. Matt Cheever looking for his first Thursday Night Thunder Chip. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Who's going to take the win? It's showtime on Thunder Down the Stretch Rest. They're even up and over no ass right here. And Cheever, Matt Cheever, Gravedigger, the legend, gets the win on Thursday Night Thunder for his very first one. What an incredible race. Zach George, you got to give the kid credit, was hanging right there with Matt Cheever. Going back to the MTA replay, down the straight stretch, off the line, they were pretty much even the whole time. Watch him right here, flying high over no man's land, some big time air. Matt Cheever gets it corrected earlier than Titan and picks up the big win. A year's worth of trying, a year's worth of working on the truck, trying to make it 100%. And your winner, right here tonight, congratulations to Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend on your Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a look at the overall points bracket at the latter half. You see Crash Test Dummy, High Roller, Saigon Shaker, and Bulldozer holding the gate closed with 90 points. Now, as we look at the top half, your finalists here tonight, Titan, that was Zach Jurge, is at the top spot with 130 points, followed by Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter with 125, and rounding out your top three, the Crazy Cat, Jason Wilkin Prowler with 120 points. As we look at the four and five position, that's Nightmare and Grave Digger the Legend with 120. What a great night of racing here on Thunder. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure if you guys haven't already, cross that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that. It's been a long